Hey everyone, um, just going to give you a quick demonstration here on our new System Sensor Spectral Alert Series Voltage Drop Calculation Worksheet. We created it in Excel format so it's easy for you guys to save it to your computers, or your tablets, smartphones, wherever you may need or where you're going to be to uh, do a takeoff. Hopefully this uh, tool will come in handy for you. So just to bring you up to speed, um, it's all color coded just to make it simple and we've broken everything into different sections here but just to give you a quick overview of it here. You'll see all the different colors and I'll explain that as we go. Basically every cell that's yellow is a cell that you can edit simply because these are the cells that you have to input your quantities of each device type into uh, for the six different types here and then at the very bottom here uh, there's one more cell that's yellow and this is going to be the distance of your circuit. So to make it simple that's all you guys have to input. All the other calculations will be done 100% by the, the worksheet. Also, while we're down here, I'm going to show you, this is our device total section. It's nothing to do with voltage drop, but it, uh, it's nice to have if you're calculating a circuit. This will keep track of all your device types on the particular circuit that you are calculating in this worksheet. And you can see we've broken it out to strobes, wall, and ceiling, horns, strobes, wall, and ceiling, horns, and mini horns. And one more note while we're down here is uh, at the very bottom, our voltage drop results section right here. This is going to give you your voltage drop, and you'll notice there's all these green checks right here. Same thing with the voltage drop percentage, we're at 0% on all of them right now obviously, and we've got green checks on all of them. So, with that said, these checks um, let you know that the circuit is clear with the current values you have inputted into the worksheet. Now, if these, any of these uh, voltages right here drop below 16 volts, which is the operating voltage of the device, this check will turn red. As well as over here, if the voltage drop goes over or exceeds 10%, these check marks will turn red as well. So it's just a quick visual indication that your circuit is either good or bad based on the values you've inputted, your distance, as well as the wire gauge you select. So I'm going to scroll back up real quick. At the very top, you'll see, uh, like we talked about, one, two, three, four, five, six sections. This top left section is labeled here horn strobe current draw for ceiling mount standard and high candela. I know system sensor sells their standard and high candela devices separately. However, to make this uh, worksheet easier, I put all of them into one category here. So horn strobe ceiling mount, horn strobe wall mount, strobe ceiling mount, strobes wall mount, horns, and mini horns. Now a system sensor uh, unlike other manufacturers, they have the same current draw for their wall and their ceiling mount devices. So this is kind of redundant, but I thought I'd still add it in there because uh, like we discussed down here with the device total section, you'll notice here there's an orange cell at the bottom of each of these quantity uh, rows or columns, and that's where you're going to get your totals here. So at a very minimum, at least you can put your circuits in, your device quantities, and you'll still get a... Uh, account here of all the devices you have for your layout. So with that said, let's go back up here and we're just going to input a couple random numbers into these circuits and as you can see when we put a number in here it carries over and multiplies over into the red cell and down at the bottom it keeps track like we talked about of your quantities of each device type as well as your total current draw for those device types. Let's just put a couple more numbers in here. One and one. Okay, so by doing that, we go here now, we know we have five wall mount strobes, four ceiling mount strobes, two horn strobes wall mount, one horn strobe ceiling, one horn, and one mini horn. So hopefully that will help you guys out with uh, your takeoffs. Now, um, all the gray cells at the bottom of the red columns are keeping track of the total current. And to keep it uh, simple, we color coded it down here to your uh, voltage drop details, and your total current is 1.961 amps. And once again, like we discussed, the yellow cells are edit, uh, you, or you can edit the yellow, yellow cells. So here is where we're going to put the distance of our circuit. And just for the uh, sake of the demonstration, we'll go ahead and put 150 feet. And put that in there. And now that we've done that, our voltage drop formula has the numbers it needs to start calculating everything. And you'll notice here the, the total current carried down again to the voltage drop formula, as well as the footage for the distance. And then we have our factor of 21.6, so we multiply these three together and we get 6,353.64. And that number carries down to the four sections here, or the four cells. And each of these represent the, different, the four different options you have for wire gauge. As we have to uh, 
divide those by the circular mills. So for an 18 gauge wire, our circular mills are 16, 20, 16 gauge, 25, 80, 14, 41, 10, and 12 gauge is 65, 30. So once again, this number moves down to here, and now we're going to divide that number by the circular mills, and that gives us our voltage or our volts drop for the circuit. So we have 3.922 and so on down here for each particular wire gauge. So once again, sticking with the color theme, we move the blue down to here to keep it simple. And this is our voltage drop results. And our starting voltage of the circuit is 24 volts DC. We derated that per UL down to 85%, which gives us a starting voltage of 20.4 volts. Took that 20.4 volts, stuck it here. And now we're going to subtract our values from our voltage drop formula for each wire gauge type from the 20.4. And this gives us our voltage for the circuit. And then over here, we have our voltage drop percentage for the circuit. And like we talked about, as long as we're above 16 volts here, we're going to remain green. And as long as we're below 10% over here, we'll be green. So as you can see, with 18 and 16 gauge wire, we're exceeding the 10% voltage drop, so we have a red X here, which lets us know that with these values we've entered and the distance that we chose, we have an option of either running with 14 gauge wire or 12 gauge wire. Either one will work. So hopefully um, this will pose to be a valuable tool for you guys. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel and our other videos as I have another one of these for wheel lock and some of the stuff is different on wheel lock as they have different draws for wall and ceiling. So like I said be sure to join or follow us on YouTube and uh, make sure to check out our other videos and join our Facebook group Fire Alarms Online for NYSIT and email me at info at firealarmsonline.com and I'll send you guys these uh, worksheets. So check out the comments and uh, the description for the video, I'll put a link for the website and the Facebook group in there. All right, thanks.